So I got a good amount of questions about my gear and stuff. And if you guys have been a long time using my channel, you'll see I have a lot of different gear I've been using. And I found a lot of reels and rods I don't like and a lot of ones I do like. And I finally kind of settled down and stopped buying stuff. And now I have a couple of combos I really like. And the gear I have, I don't really buy anymore now. So I thought I'd make a video and share the gear that I use and would recommend to other people. So I hope you like it. Hopefully it helps you out. So first I start out with my poles right here. We have slime cat rods, heavy action, casting, seven foot six. I think these are the sunset edition rods from Cracked. I throw, uh, here it is, five to 20 ounces, so I can throw a lot of lead. Real, real good pulls for river fishing. We got the reels, we got the catfish uh, special, Ebu Garcia, 7,000. And we got 85 pound with secret braid on that. And all three of my catfish pulls right here are all the same combos. So here's my regular rig I usually use. Got a sliding sinker. That's the clip we just attach them to. We got a bead. We got a swivel, I think that's like a three out swivel. This is my main line, this is the 85 pound braid. This is my leader, the 60 pound mono. And right now I have a six out hook on it because I'm just fishing in the winter, fishing for some. Still the big fish, but with smaller hooks. Just downsizing a little bit for my baits and that stuff. And this rod right next to it, this is my float rig we use. Got an 8-out hook on this one, a float a couple inches away from the hook, then goes into the swivel right there, same mono, same everything, same sink or slide and bead on that too. Those are the two rigs I usually use the most, I use a double hook rig sometimes, but usually those are the two I stick to. So right here is something I think that probably every catfish person should have right here, it's what they call a rig wallet. I don't like tying stuff out when I'm on the river, so I have everything I need in here. This is just loose parts and stuff in here. I got some floats, I got beads and sinker slides, some J-hooks looks like, and more swivels. But then the rest of these packs, it's not very full right now, but I have pre-tied rigs ready to go. So it's like four out hooks in there. Here's some float rigs in there. Some eight out hooks tied up in all uh, snell ready to go. Another float rig with a bigger hook. I got some six out hooks tied up right there. And then I just got, you know, more miscellaneous stuff and different rigs in here. But it makes it real nice because I don't have to tie up a whole new rig if I get snagged. I can just open this up and put a new one on. So that's definitely handy to have. This is the mono I was using for leaders. This is just the extra spool I have of it in case I get too many of those rigs and the binder snagged. So this is that 60 pound mono. And then here's a hook setter tied up in all those rigs. They're called uh, triple threat hooks by West Seeker. This is the variety pack I have of them. We got four rots in this one, six rots, eight rots, and tens. And for all the fishing I do, that's all the sizes I'll ever need. Usually on the river, I never go smaller than a six rot. And I'll go as big as a ten rot sometimes, too. So for me, this right here is one of the most important things I bring with me. It's my cast net. This one's a five foot radius, kind of all beat up. But um, this is how I get all my bait, all those shad I catch. And, carp and buffalo most of my catch with this thing and it's real helpful to get real good fresh bait so you don't have to use any frozen junk or anything like that so this is my headlight right here is a whisk seeker headlamp just got the regular bright leds and it has a red light and it has a blue light and then another brighter one too and it's nice this one's rechargeable you don't have to use batteries just plug it in when you get home from your trip this is my spotlight right here it's also one of those rechargeable things. Just take this right here and plug it right into the wall. And it has regular bright settings. And then it has a side light too, so you can set it up on the ground and have it shining on something or tying a rig or something like that, which is pretty helpful. But I use this especially just in the night when I'm sitting down, I shine it all around looking at my rod tips. And that uh, this orange line on my poles lights up real good with this bright LED light. So this right here is something newer I've gotten recently. It's like a catfish rag. So you just clip on your belt with this little carabiner. And instead of wiping your hands and your pants like that, you can just wipe it on the rag. And it has this special like waffle material that kind of catches all the gunk off your hands. So that just keeps me from getting completely nasty. Kind of handy, not necessary, but I like them a lot. So here's about the amount of sinkers I bring with me on one trip. Kind of overkill, but you know, you never know. So I always have more than I need. I've got the 10 ounce ones down here, just a couple of them. And I think we got five eight ounce sinkers, one six. And I used to use a lot of four and five ounces, but not as much recently. These ones have been working a lot better, especially the heavy current. 
And then I always keep little ones on me just in case one or two little ones, you know, this one's one ounce, I think this one's one or two. Just if I have a little small rod to throw out for, you know, baby drum or a little catfish, just something to keep me occupied if I'm waiting for a bigger bite and it's kind of boring. This is my scale right here, it's the Whistle Seeker scale. I like these ones a lot, it's 110 pound capacity. What I like the most about it though is these little wings that come off right here. So you can hold up a bigger fish way easier than those scales, you just have to hold it with a body like this. That comes in real handy when you have a big fish because lifting up a 60, 70 pound catfish ain't easy unless you have those on those scales. So I always keep pliers in my bag just in case. Usually you can get the hooks out with your hands because they're pretty big hooks and they're never hooked down the goal at most time with those big circle hooks. So I have these just in case, but I rarely ever use them. And right here's my bait knife. I think this one's a Tsunami bait knife. That's the brand. I got them down in Florida. It's from Walmarts. I just like the orange color. It doesn't really matter what kind of knife you have, obviously, but this, this one just looks cool to me at least. These are the fish grips I like to use. These are the same ones you see, everyone has the yellow ones of, the Team Catfish Fish Grips, it's the same exact thing, just bright orange color, I just like the color orange. And I always have two with me because I get doubled up more than I expect I will sometimes, and it's always nice to have a second pair just in case. But I mean, even though they're plastic, they kind of underestimate them sometimes, they can hold up a real big fish. I've seen people hold up fish in the 70 pound range and bigger with these things. I've held up a 68 pounder, my biggest I've held up with these things, but they're definitely worth the money. They're only 10, 15 bucks, I believe. So these are the rod holders I use. I get them from Academy Sports. They're just uh, plastic right here and they have an aluminum spike in the back. As you can see, they're still muddy from my last trip I went on, but I just put it all the way down on the ground until we get up to the where the plastic meets it. And you put your rod in there. And I haven't had a problem with them yet besides, you can see on this one right here, it bends out sometimes. If you don't put it all the way in the mud, it's only up to, you know, partially on the spike and not all the way up to the plastic. Sometimes a big catfish will take it down and it'll bend the aluminum. I mean, you can bend it back, obviously, that's what I did, but that's the only complaint I have about those things. So that's an overview of all my gear. I'd say everything on this table is necessary for me, at least, except for this rag right here. That's the only thing I would say you don't need to have. Everything else for me, I think you ought to have this stuff. Makes it a lot easier to catch big fish.